everybody, what's up and welcome back to the garden. Today we are just taking a quick look at these drumstick alliums. Now this is my first season ever growing these drumstick alliums or whatever they're called. And I just wanted to make a quick video if you would like to grow them too. Um, first and foremost, before buying any kind of fall bulb, you want to make sure that they do grow in your area. I'm not sure whether or not these require cold or anything to grow. So definitely you want to always check those hardiness zones when you are purchasing bulbs. Anyway, the first thing I did to get these alliums growing is I planted the bulbs into the ground in the fall. I did this about the end of October. I'm here in zone 6B7 in Kentucky, so that is really the ideal time uh, for me to start planting bulbs, usually probably about a few weeks before my first frost date is when I personally do it super easy to plant I just uh, you know dug up a nice area in the yard uh, these do apparently naturalize or at least that's what it said on the package so it will be interesting to see whether these kind of multiply themselves in my yard from season to season but they definitely will behave as a perennial which is really nice here one of the main reasons that I chose drumstick alliums is was I was under the impression that these were short for some reason. As seen in this video, that's definitely not the case. These grew to about four feet tall, which I was uh, really surprised. I was always under the ideal that they were kind of just like a diminutive little, you know, one foot, two foot tall plant, but that is not the case. Um, I was surprised to see that these begin to grow and send up a little bit of green growth during the coldest part of the winter, um, kind of late winter, early spring is when I started to first to see some green growth in the plants. That green growth that is brought up stays green for quite a bit of time. I was kind of waiting patiently this year to see when they were going to actually bloom. So even though that green growth first emerged back at the end of January here in my yard, it wasn't until, um, you know, the end of June and into mid-July that these flowers were actually coming into a full bloom and doing their thing, um, attracting tons and tons of beautiful bumblebees, lots of pollinators just completely obsessed with these drumstick alliums. Um, I think in the future, I would definitely want to put these in a place where uh, they don't get as much foot traffic here in my yard. They're kind of right in the middle of everything. Anyway, uh, after these were done blooming, I just let all the foliage die back naturally, and hopefully they will be back for another bloom next year. Overall, I am so pleased with my experience the first time growing these. I think even the most beginner of beginners could grow these and have some absolutely just gorgeous flowers, a nice, tall, dramatic kind of statement piece in the yard, too. Um, if you're looking for a flower that kind of makes just a big visual, just nice visual appeal with very little cost and very little effort. Um, I think these bulbs were very affordable. I can't remember where I'd purchased them, but uh, overall, very pleased. And that's really about it for this video. I hope that it was helpful. I didn't fertilize them or uh, anything. I didn't worry about irrigation. Um, here where I live, I get plenty of rainfall for most plants. That might be different if you live somewhere that's a little bit drier. You might have to consider giving them a little bit of water every now and then or fertilizing them. Uh, I'm really lucky to have been able to build up the soil to be nice and rich over the past you know, few years as I've been working in this backyard. Uh, so that is something to consider. I haven't had any kind of troubles with wind blowing them over. They seem to be very strong and just very robust. That's really about it for this video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them down in the comments below. As always, I love hearing from you guys, and I love hearing all about your experiences. Any tips and tricks that you have are always welcome. Uh, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit subscribe if you liked this video, and hit the little bell icon, the notification. It'll tell you whenever I put out a new video. We're making new videos all the time, trying to really just pump out as much garden content as we can. Uh, most of my videos are about cut flowers, but it could be vegetable gardening or other DIY projects. Uh, it's really, your guess is as good as mine. I'm pretty random. So if you like a surprise, you might like this channel too. I hope that you guys are having such an amazing day, and I will talk to you all later. Bye, guys.